Hey, so I know I don't pop on here nearly enough, but this question has actually been coming up a lot with my clients, so I thought I would pop on here and answer it for you in case you are having the same challenge. So the the challenge I'm going to answer today is how to get the most out of your team and your time. For those of you that are new around here, I'm Lauren Goldstein. I'm founder and CEO of Golden Key Partnership, where we help make things simple so you can grow and help you optimize your business and your team so you can scale more profitably, smartly, and efficiently. So with that all being said, one of the things that I see cripple a lot of entrepreneurs who have still have lean teams is the simple fact, don't worry if you've done this, a lot of people do this, of hiring people just to take over tasks. So as an entrepreneur, when you're moving from chief everything officer to actual CEO, so going from business operator and being in the trenches to business owner where you're really back in that strategic vision, big picture, is a challenge sometimes because you want to get out of the trenches and you want someone just to take over the things that you don't like doing anymore. So when you're, you know, cook and chief bottle washer, you know, you're doing the marketing, the sales, the everything. And so the, the thing that I would love for you to tweak if you're doing this is instead of finding people or hiring people who just take tasks off your plate, what you want to do is find people who are playing at the highest level of that area of expertise to not only take tasks off your plate, but be critically thinking about how they can help grow your business and add value. So what I mean is um, you know you're working with a awesome team member when they say things to you like, hey, I was doing some thinking and I think it would be great if we did X, Y, Z because it will help us get more exposure. That's a great example of somebody who's not just taking content off your plate, but is also thinking a few steps ahead on how they can help add their own value to growing the business. Um, if you have a lot of people on your team that are kind of just sitting around, I'm not saying sitting around doing nothing, but sitting around and you feel like they're maybe not performing at the highest level or they're not really getting a lot, you're not getting a lot of ROI out of them. The key to know if this is happening to you is if you if you resist giving them things because you feel like it's an expense rather than an investment. So that's just a little inkling. But if you are if you're seeing that in your business, chances are you're working with someone who's a worker bee, someone who was just hired to take tasks off off your list. And while those people are wonderful and we need them to run our businesses, they shouldn't be your first hires. Probably your first, I would say, five to 10 hires because what happens is that creates more work for you because you are managing them and they're only working when they have tasks to do or being told what to do. So that's not awesome because it creates actually more stress for you when the whole reason you hired them is to take things off your plate. So how do you fix that? How do you tweak that? You look for players. And I know some of you who have been following me for a while know that I talk about players versus worker bees. So players, of course, do those tasks, but they take it one step further and they're always looking for opportunities to add value, to grow in their position, grow their skills, and they're, and they're thinking long-term in terms of how they can bring in revenue in some, some capacity or another. So this small tweak of going from just finding somebody to take some tasks off your list to finding somebody who's a partner with you and who can help you really think of valuable ways to increase your business, look for opportunities, etc. That's where the money is because that's going to not only give you an ROI, a return on your investment in them, but an ROI or ROTI, so a return on the time that they invest as well as the time you invest. So it's going to be a really awesome experience for you and it's going to feel so freeing. Um, 
The way that you know that you're working with these people is when you don't have to micromanage them. They have their own plan, they're executing on that plan, and they just come to you with things like, hey, can you look at this? What do you think? Can you sign off on this? That's where you want to be instead of having those constant discussions about, well, what do you want me to work on next? So I hope that was helpful. Tune in next time. And um, as always, make things simple so you can grow. Talk soon.